And welcome back to Ozarks Live. We're here now with Anthony Roberts from the Drive to Save Lives Blood Drive over at Community Blood Center of the Ozarks. It's great to see you. Great to see you again. Yeah, Hope just, you had a great holiday. I did. Very quiet. Good. So, yeah, very, very low key. Quiet and low key is just fine, especially in this environment. All right, we are going to announce the next finalist for the car. But first, I want you to give me an overview of the Drive to Save Lives and how it came about. Uh, well, a lot of blood centers across the United States do car giveaways. We have never done one. And we thought with the pandemic going on, and we always struggle with collections. Uh, donations in December and January. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd add a little bit of an extra incentive on top of the other things that we usually do. We have the t-shirt like always and um, that always brings people in but we thought we'd kind of kick it up a notch with the Kicks, uh, Nissan 20 Kicks. Yeah, and Youngblood stepped up and there's yes. the car right there. You can see it's a beautiful white car. It's sitting right out there adjacent to Campbell Avenue because I was down there earlier. Um, so you pick a finalist every week, and you've been doing this for what, a month now? Uh, yeah, we started the first part of December, so we've got five or six now, I think, okay. and uh, the drive goes for four more weeks, so there's four more opportunities uh, for donors to be uh, selected to have a chance to win that car. Okay, and there's the car right there. It is a yeah. dandy. The thing is beautiful. You can drive up and take a look at it. It's just gorgeous. Uh, and again, participants at any CBCO <clears throat> blood drive will be Entered to win the Nissan Kicks, courtesy of Young Blood. Um, all right, Anthony, announce the winner for this last drive. Right, we uh, drew the name this morning. It was a donor that donated with us last week at our Bentonville Center, and her name is Kirsten Davis. So, congratulations, Kirsten, and uh, good luck when we draw. Uh, the winner of the car on February the 6th. Okay, that was my next question. So February the 6th, so you've yep. got a few more weeks to yep. be a part four of more, this. Four more opportunities, and we'll be, we'll be at the lot on Saturday. It's a Saturday afternoon, so we encourage people to come out. We're hoping to have every one of our potential winners there. Oh, man. And we're really excited. How exciting for them yeah. that'll be. One of them's going to drive home in a brand new car. Um, so talk to me about, I mean, this has clearly gotten a lot of response. Mm -hmm. It yes, had the it response has. you've wanted. It has, yeah. We have seen, um, we're probably at about 110% or so of our goal nice. uh, through December and January, which is, you know, like I said, it's a tough month. We've, we've been lucky with weather, knock mm -hmm. on wood. Uh, yeah. We haven't had a lot of snow and ice, so that's been, been to our benefit. Good. But uh, we've seen a lot of first-time donors come out, which is oh. really one of the things that we need. Um, in the population, only about 3 to 5% of the population actually donate mm -hmm. uh, regularly. So getting those new donors and getting them engaged in donating blood, which is, you know, we hope becomes a, a lifelong process. So Well, it should. Um, now, I see people on your website, you know, <laughs> women who've had a C-section and they need a unit or two of blood. Accident victims, there's also, the need is there all the time. Any certain blood type, one over the other, that you need more of? Uh, you know, we always need O-neg. Okay. O-neg is a universal mm -hmm. donor. So. Um, in the population, about four to six percent is O negative, and we typically need about 12 to 15 percent on our shelves because if someone comes in uh, in an emergency and they don't know your blood type, you get O neg right you off the bat that. until they yeah. find out your blood type. So we definitely need those O neg donors. We're a little bit low right now okay. on O neg, so we're going to be reaching out to those donors here probably over the next week or so. To get them to come in and give them an opportunity to win that cool car. All right, and speaking of that, we are going to tell you how you can win the car and how you can donate. We're going to keep the conversation going. We're going to take a quick break, but we're going to focus on how you can donate. I even did it earlier today. It's super easy. We'll tell you how next.